Hi, this is Julie Green, Unique Independent Presenter. Today I'm going to show you how to make this basic look using just a couple of items. Our liquid concealer, our glorious primer, our touch foundation, and of course bronzer, blusher, and obviously our 3D mascara. Stay tuned! Hi, let's just get started right now. We're going to jump right into it. I am starting with my glorious primer. I always use my primer. This is what our primer looks like. When it comes, it's completely closed off and then you can cut the opening at the end. And you can choose if you want to cut the opening bigger or smaller depending on how much you use. Some people just use a tiny dot. I have a dry skin so I use a little bit more. So I cut a little bit um, further up into the tip than some, which is really beneficial to be able to do that because then you can kind of control how much product you use and you won't waste any product. So I've already done my instant lift and my moisturizer, so now I'm just doing my primer. And you wanna let your primer sit about five minutes if you have the option. So we're gonna do that first, and the next thing we're gonna do is apply my mascara. And I just started doing this, and I have found that this gives me a better um, result with my mascara, and it also gives me a little bit more control. I have a problem with my mascara touching my eyelids just because I have hooded eyes. So I have um, found out if I use kind of a basic mascara, this is just a drugstore mascara, this is um, Falsies Push Up Drama. It doesn't have near as much gel as ours does, which is why I like it, and it's just a straight brush. If I put this on first as a base, it does a couple of things. It separates my lashes. It doesn't get on the top lid because there's not as much gel, if you can see that. So when I put my 3D mascara on, it kind of holds my lashes in place. So I don't have near as much trouble um, getting mascara all over my eyes. And I really like that it separates. And I've tried this with a couple of different mascaras. Um, I have allergies to quite a few mascaras, so I had to go through a, several to get one that would even not make my eyes red for a week. And this one works well for me. I have sensitive eyes, so. So it doesn't really do much for my eyelashes, so to speak, except separating them and then giving them a little bit of a base to work with. So I start with that, and I still sometimes get a little bit of mascara on the top of my eyelid, but again, we know we can use the Glorious Primer and some of my Q-tips and wipe that off if we need to. So I'm gonna, I started with that first, and the next thing I'm gonna do is apply my um, eyebrows so that I can give it some time. So I'm just gonna use my eyebrow comb today, and I do my eyebrows a million different ways. My favorite is probably the pencil, and I am out, I just ordered some. But I will use sometimes Palette One, which is just brown shadows, and sometimes I will use the eyebrow palette, and sometimes I will use eyeliner. Today I'm actually using my Sculpting Trio. You can see I've used this quite a bit. This is my highlighting and contouring treatment, uh, treatment highlighting and contouring palette. So I'm gonna use the darker cream and I'm using my eyebrow brush, which has two sides. There's a angled side and a straight side and I'm gonna start with the straight side. And this is just a basic look today. And this is really just to define where I want my eyebrows to be, okay? This is not a real dramatic look today very casual and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and once I've kind of gotten my brows outlined the bottom and the top then I will fill them in and one of the things I like about this contour palette is this brown is a little creamier so it stays in place a little better than um, brown eyeshadow does So now I'm just kind of filling those in a little bit just to give them some shape and I have some, several spots that are just kind of bare. So nothing crazy. Um, another benefit to this palette is it has this highlighting powder, how, ugh, can't talk, highlighting cream, um, the 3D cream and I'm going to use this angled side 
just to lighten up right underneath my eyebrows. And it has just enough shimmer to give me a little bit of fun without being overly dramatic, especially since I'm not gonna wear any eyeshadow today. But again, because this is my contour color, it works perfectly. I don't have to worry about the colors I've chosen. And I love that our products are so versatile. I can use them for so many different things. I mean, who would have thought you could put eyebrows on 20 different ways? But you can. So that's done. So now I'm going to go and do my mascara. I'm going to start with the gel. And then we'll do the fibers. And having that base coat just kind of keeps them from being a little flimsy and pushing back up against my eyelid as much as it normally would. Just gives me a little bit more control. And I'm just going to wiggle up from the base to the ends. And again, this is just a gel, and I'm still making a little bit of a mess, but I found that this still helps me some. And look at the difference between that coat and the coat on the left. Huge difference. So now I'm gonna do just the fibers, and I might just do one coat of fibers. Again, this is a very casual look. Just kind of fluttering this on. Again, these dry, these are already dry, so if you spill any, it's no big deal, it just dust right off. Big difference. Gel on the other side. And I got my wand on my eyes. So still not perfect, but it does help. And the base coat is not required, this is just something I have been doing lately that's helped me more than anything else I've tried. And I've tried all kinds of things to not get mascara on my eyelids. It's just me. And now fibers. And if you wanted a more dramatic look, you can continue to put more um, coats. So now I'm just doing the gel to seal it. Ah, oh, I love this mascara. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I'm not even trying to go for a dramatic look, but I have dramatic eyelashes anyway. I gotta have my mascara. Gotta, gotta, gotta. And I'm just kind of separating these a little bit, these ones right in the center. I'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom coat. And you could use your base uh, mascara for the body coat if you wanted to, since you're not doing fibers. If you want to save your good stuff. But I just find that I want to have a little darker lash on the line on the bottom, and I don't get that from any other mascara. So I'm still going to use the good stuff. All right, now I'm going to let that dry. And the reason I let that dry before I do anything else is because when I go to clean it up, I don't want to um, move them around while they're still wet. So that's done. So make sure I don't have any fibers on my face. I probably let my primer dry enough. So I'm going to go straight into <clears throat> my concealer. And I've been using chiffon concealer today. I am satin in my liquid foundation, taffeta in my um, loose powder. And I normally wear scarlet concealer when I'm doing a bold highlighted look but I'm gonna do chiffon, it's one step down because I'm just doing something casual today. <clears throat> and I'm gonna be using my concealer brush, and I'm not putting a whole lot on here, just a dot. Probably too much. And I am just gonna pat that underneath my eyelids. Just a few dots here. And if I had any areas that had blemishes, I would use that but I'm gonna do around my nose because it gets a little red and right on the tip of my nose. It's always red, it doesn't matter what's going on in my life. But I don't really have any blemishes. I've been taking care of my skin, y'all. 
and I am just going to pat this in. Now again, if I was doing a highlighted look, if I wanted the light underneath my eyes, I would go with my Scarlet or maybe Velour, a much lighter color. But I am just doing the loose powder today as my full coverage foundation. It's more of a medium coverage, I guess. So I don't want to have that really light because then I'm gonna have to do a lot of blending to blend my normal shade into the light. And the reason I tap this on is because I don't wanna have those creases. Got a little eyelash in my mouth. So I tap, I don't rub, I tap. And that got rid of all of that. And I could probably use a little bit more in some of these red spots. Let's just go ahead and just do a little bit of that. And I've been using the moisturizer with my SPF in it, so I don't have as dark of a face as I normally would in the summer. Okay, that's done. Now we're gonna jump right into, I wanna drop my own thing, <clears throat> the loose powder. And you can use multiple things to loose powder. There's a loose powder. You can use your blusher brush. You can use the um, white powder brush that has a double sided or what I'm using today is just one of my pads for my regular compacts or my pressed powder. And I just took this out of one of my pressed powders that I wasn't using anymore because I'm out, I'm out, I was out of it, washed it, and so now I can use this. And this is actually taffeta. And I found this is a little bit darker than the normal taffeta liquid because I would usually wear satin right now. And I'm just pressing this right into this pretty little knit. And I am just gonna pat that right on my face. If I wanted a lighter coverage of this powder, then I would use a brush. But I want a little bit more coverage. And I get that by using the compact pad. Now, I don't know if you're gonna get the same results if you use a different brand, but I mean, hey, I've already got this one, so why do I need to buy another one? No need. And I am just patting that on. And you definitely wanna pat and not rub, because you don't wanna have lines on your face. And I'm not gonna put it over my eyelids because I'm not using any eyeshadow so I naturally have kind of a reddish, rusty brown over my eyes, and that gives me a kind of that eyeshadow look. But look at the coverage. It covers so well for just being a powder. Now I do wanna have a little bit of color back into my face, so I'm just gonna use Stunning. I know it looks like it's hot pink and I'm going with something uh, neutral today, but this is light if you just do a little bit. So I just put it on, blow most of it off, and I just barely rub it in but I like it because it's a true pink. It's not any other color. There's no brown to it, there's no mauve to it, it's just pink. And I'm doing it a little lower, so I get kind of that contour effect without a contour. And now I'm gonna clean this off a little bit and I'm gonna do my bronzer. Just swirl it around and putting it right at the top. You don't wanna have a flat color all over your face. It's not attractive. So I have a little bronzer done. My eyebrows are done, and now all I need to do is take my Glorious Primer. Again, I buy these little pointed Q-tips, put a little bit of primer on the top. I rub it around because I don't want it to be like kind of hanging off. And I am just going to go right over my eyelid, the few places that I got mascara, which much less than when I would normally just go straight into the liquid gel from the 3D. It's not near as bad when I use a base coat. Again, you probably don't need to do any of these if you have hooded eyes. I don't have hooded eyes like I do. And if I needed to clean up any under my eyes too, that would be very simple. And I do wanna have something on my lips. So I am wearing this kind of purpley color. So I'm gonna go 
with lavish lip gloss. Look how pretty that is. Mm, pretty pretty. And that is it. That is my easy look with the loose powder so I didn't have to use any other foundation. So I think it's a, a great go-to if you like something simple, um, if you're in a big hurry, and if or you can actually add it and get even more coverage if you're using your liquid foundation. So hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.